What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation. Let's get into it. Let's talk about this whole situation going down with Tamar and Candy Burris and Todd Tucker. It seems like today was the day or, you know, a few days ago, Todd Tucker decided to address the rumors and the allegation. But what went wrong between Candy and um, Tamar is because Tamar chose Carlos King's side and she was basically supporting him and that's just what it was. And Candy allegedly confronted her, which she did, and they got ugly and that's when Tamar basically said that Tor Talker was out here in these streets trying to fight her and threatening her and her boyfriend you know Mr. Jeremy had to get up in the situation okay but Todd Talker decided to address the situation he wanted to address Tamar's boyfriend because Tamar's boyfriend was acting like you know he checked um Mr. Tor Talker and let him know what it is and what it be and put him in his place and also he did call Todd a sucker or a coward so, let's check out what Tamar boyfriend had to say, and then we're gonna listen to Tor Tucker respond, and then we're gonna listen to Tamar. Okay. Let's go by four or five weeks go by, and we all have a concert together, and I'm leaving my dressing room to go to my dancers dressing room to bring them their new clothes, and I see Candy in the hallway, and I'm like, hey boo, and I give her a hug, you know whatever, and she <laughs> cackling and cacklings, and like. Then, Tadina comes up and like, he comes and get her and he says something to her and then he looks at me in my face. Y'all can believe this shit or not. Nigga look at me in my face and go, you know what it is. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> now this is a dude, I don't care. Ever step to me, period. Why are you Devin, shaking your head? Devin, you ain't do shit for no man to step to you. That was a coward move, and it shouldn't have happened. And I addressed it with him, and I spoke to him about it, and he immediately apologized. An apology after the fact is bullshit. Especially when I'm there defenseless, Shut because up. he wasn't... This so let's check this out. Candy's basically going to address the situation with Tamar, how it went down, how it happened, and what Todd Tucker did that he addressed her and not Tamar but Tamar has a different story she feels that Todd Tucker looked her directly in the eye and threatened her and um Candy saying that's far from the truth and Tamar did say that she felt like Todd and Candy was never going to address it I guess they have now and he was like Candy stop you already know what it is like stop that's what he was saying to me he was not saying it to her but I will he already said his side of story so check it out so I'm walking towards the side of the stage. I see homie, but the crazy thing is, I've seen this dude out in Atlanta. Like I've seen him at, I go to this spot called Tribeca, Whiskey Mistress. So when I see him, I see him as a familiar face. I didn't know it was her dude. So I go dap him up. And then he's like, yo, I'm with Tamar now. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. He was like, yo, she told me that something happened. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. So for me, his tone and his energy is mad, calm, and cool. This one's some grown-up shit. We talking like two grown men, so I'm not thinking this is a big deal thing. So, because after I see all of this stuff, I threatened her, I tried to fight her. Now, homie would have been coming a little differently. If you didn't she... see that, then what are you talking about? You I'm just that? saying what we've seen that she's saying now. Oh, that, what is she saying? That, you know, that I tried to threaten her, I tried to fight her. Homie's energy would have been much different. So, homie wasn't coming with no type of negative energy. So we, we basically gave each other the same energy. He gave me calm and cool, I gave him calm and cool. So I explained to him what happened. You know, the same story you heard. I told my wife, yo, come on, man, let's go. You know what it is, da, da, da. Homie, I have no problem with it. And then I went on to say, yo, I've always been cool with Tamar. I've never been buck up like, yo, why are you saying, you know, you know what it is. I never said that to her. I said that to my wife. And that was it. So then after that, I'm like, yo, I've never had a problem with Tay. Five-time Emmy-nominated journalist. <laughs> Difference. So for me, I am not comfortable publicly saying or calling someone else a liar without knowing the legitimate facts. That's where I'm standing with that. Not, I wasn't on no... You know, you're not my friend. I don't want to side with you. It wasn't nothing to being messy, but my responsibility for my job and my integrity just lied in that. Or else I just would have said, oh, she lied. Really what I, what I did say is, 
I wanted to hear both sides of the story. You know, there's something in the milk ain't clean. Just trying to deflect from just outright calling somebody a lie. Because number one, I don't know. Number two, I don't care. Number three, it has nothing to do with me. Okay? <laughs> like, I'm for real thinking she's stepping. She like, oh, well, you said that shit. You said what about Carlos King was foul. And I'm like, oh, shit. I, and I honestly truly forgot about it. Right? Um, And I'm like, listen. I didn't mean no harm. You know, I, I wasn't trying to, you know, go against you or nothing like that. It's, you know, I, just what I just explained to y'all. Like, I just feel like my response really is a little bit different. I ain't trying to call nobody publicly a liar when I don't know the whole story. I'm not comfortable with it. And she was like, nah, 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 nah. You said, you said, you said. And I'm like, sis, we, I'm, listen, if I offended you, I am so sorry. Like, you know, like I, I wasn't coming from that. I thought, you mean, you made up a big brother. You know, I wasn't coming for you. It's nothing like that. I really, truly, humbly apologize. And plus, I sent her a DM and I said, I sent you a DM, you know, when your fans was coming to my page. Um, this was a while ago and I'm. I was just trying to let you know that, you know, I wasn't trying to be, you know, malicious or nothing like that. Nah, nah, nah. But you said, and you did, and did, and then, and then you double down and put it in your story. I said, listen, Kenny, I'm not trying to go there with you. You know, we in the middle of this hallway. And now, now by this time, people swarming around. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is, we ladies, we shouldn't be doing this. We can go in my dressing room. Yeah, 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 before I take it to the next level. Now, everybody know, <laughs> I ain't, you know, I ain't really here for that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm cool and I'm safe, but I do know how to whip ass. And I don't do that because I don't condone violence at all, right? And I'm like, well, take, what's the name of the level you want to take it to? Like, what you want to fight? Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You said. You said. He did. He did steal from us. <laughs> right? But me and me and Candy or me and another female can argue all day long. But when it comes to dudes in another woman's face to physically threaten them and harm them, that's when the line is drawn. That's when it's like, oh, it's not about her perception on TV. It's not about... You it is good that, you know, Talk Tucker done came out here and he addressed the situation because Tamar has doubled down on her comment. She actually posted a clip, you know, of an episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta where Talk Tucker had, like, jumped into a situation, jumping into fighting Candy's battles or whatever the case may be. And uh, basically saying that Todd definitely did threaten her and Talk Tucker is not trying to, you know, go down this road with Tamar. So I guess he wanted to address the situation. And also Candy said she needs to address the situation too because you talk about her husband so candy and todd tucker have respond to you know um tamar's claims that todd had threatened her as far as you know they have an explanation for the whole situation as far as todd tucker saying that he was actually talking to candy burris he was never ever addressing tamar at all when he said you know what it is that was towards his wife at you know, and Tamar said, no, he looked me directly in the eye and he said it. So you guys let me know what you think about the whole situation. Who do you believe? Candy, Tamar, Torts, Hawker, or whatever the case may be. But remember, there is a TV show on Peacock that Tamar is on, okay? And then we also have Escape and SWV, Queens of R&B. And then we have The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And, you know, Candy's promoting and selling, promoting and selling, and Tamar's promoting and selling too as well. So I guess we're getting down to the nitty gritty. It don't look like... Like, you know, Tamar and Candy gonna be cool anytime soon. So we shall see. But also we know Akbar, she jumped into the situation and she had Candy's back as well. You know, Candy was like, girl, I don't need you to have my back. I don't even know what's really going on in this situation. But Todd Tucker made it sure he did not, you know, bow down to Tamar's boyfriend Jeremy at all. Okay.